so much for this opportunity to be a part of our Plant and Change online exhibition. I'm so glad and excited to be exhibiting some of my artwork on this platform. I'm an artist from Sri Lanka, currently based in Colombo, an accountant by profession and however I took up painting in the early years of 2000. At that time it was more of a hobby for me and then as I started selling a few artworks it turned into a career. I've always been passionate about art and uh, I remember as a kid I used to uh, do these little Christmas cards and sell it among family and friends and uh, little did I know at that time that I would be calling myself an artist one day, but here I am. I'm a self-taught artist, started with oil painting and then experimented with different textures and mediums and uh, now my style is more abstract and freeform. I'm totally loving what I'm doing and uh, I'm really glad that I did this shift in my career because I'm truly living out my dream. I love about my work is the blending of colour and the way it interacts with each other, it always intrigues me. And also building layers and textures and using different mediums, like just simply using what's lying around in the house or out there and placing it on your artwork and then seeing the end result of it, it always amazes me. There are many pieces that I'm very proud of, but one artwork that I would specifically like to mention is the one that actually helped me to make that shift in my career, and that is uh, Light at the End of the Tunnel painting. I wish I had it with me to show it, but uh, that is one that really changed my life, and I am very proud of that artwork. My inspiration comes from whatever that captures my eye and I would say that every day is a day of inspiration. But if I am to name a few, nature plays a big part in my artwork and uh, living in a country filled with beautiful beaches, that is reflected in most of my work and um, my ocean series was just birthed from that. And travel plays a very big part, the people I meet, the places I visit, most of my artworks reflect that and also the amazing artists out there. Their styles, their techniques, the artworks, it always inspires me and challenges me to push myself further. As I mentioned earlier, nature and environment is uh, something that I try to capture in most of my artwork and, uh, and preserving of the ocean is something that I hold dearly to my heart marine life, the coral reef, the moods of the sea, uh, some of the things that I try to reflect in my artwork and, uh, and climate change is something that is increasing around us and uh, most of the time we can take things for granted and I believe that art is a form of uh, putting that message across, building up hope, stirring up emotions and educating people around of the impact that it's going to make for the next generation. And I'm glad that in the little way that I can, that I can be a part of being that change. I signed my artwork as Ruki, and, um, and that's a nickname that my father's given me. And um, why I do that is because he's the one that saw something in me that I didn't see in myself at that time. So even though he's no more, I, it's a sign of love on a canvas for him. In most of my work, I like to use some of the natural soil to bring out this texture. And I love to use the gold and the bronze pigment. It gives an added touch and a, a rich look. This is another artwork which is heavily textured. And these are some of the details. This one is using oils, gold and bronze pigment. 
palms artwork created with different layers of texture with gold pigment and these are some of the details This artwork is inspired by the ocean and I wanted to create a coral reef effect. This is an artwork that I created recently. And this is heavily textured. The top layer is oils and the bottom is all acrylics and pigment with plaster 